Welcome back, everyone, and good morning once again. Now let's go ahead and take a look at three of the viewer pictures that I received over the weekend. I'm just going to show these three again. This one was taken Friday evening on Highway 1 in Chatham, Mississippi. Thank you, Dorothy Lockridge, for this gorgeous photo of the evening sky. And then we have this next great photo also from Friday evening. A beautiful picture of the sky just after sunset between Marigold and Cleveland. Thank you, Deb K. Cole, for sending this one in. And thank you, T. Lachey Jones, for this gorgeous sunset that you took in Ruleville yesterday evening at Mount Galilee Cemetery. Now let's go ahead and get into your headlines. So as I just mentioned before the break, today will be another hot day and so will your Tuesday. But we are looking at cold fronts to move in within the next couple of days and we'll also see our rain chances increasing within the next day or two as well. So now moving on into the rest of your forecast. So we are looking at our current temperatures being in the mid to upper 70s right now. We see 76 in Greenville, 77 in Greenwood and 75 in Clarksdale. Dew points in the 60s and 70s, so again, a very warm and humid morning for us. But our winds are mainly calm as well. Winds are variable at 3 miles per hour in Vicksburg, northerly at 3 in Monroe, and southwesterly at 6 in El Dorado, Arkansas. So now looking at your allergy forecast, we still have a high level for tree pollen and mold pollen, a moderate level for grass pollen, and a low level for weed pollen. The Mississippi River is around 33 feet for this morning. Over the next few days, it'll rise a little bit more so, and it'll just kind of stay around 34 feet between Wednesday through Saturday. So today is a great day to be out by the pool. Now, of course, make sure you don't forget your sunscreen and to take frequent breaks from being out in the sun too long. But again, temperatures are in the mid 70s now. Around noontime, we should be in the mid 80s and highs for today will still be around 90. And uh, we'll have winds from the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And overnight lows will be near 70, partly cloudy sky. Winds from the southwest at 10 miles per hour. And another hot day for your Tuesday. But as we get into the afternoon hours, showers and thunderstorms should begin to develop, especially as that cold front will be on the way. So we are looking at showers to develop along the cold front. Winds will be from the west around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we've been dealing with high pressure for the last couple of days. That's given us this drier weather and nicer weather. But then over the next day or two, we'll start to see this cold front moving in. So as this cold front moves in, this low pressure, this is going to help the high pressure break down some as this low pressure system moves in and that cold front will begin to move through the area on Tuesday. We're looking at showers and thunderstorms to develop along that cold front as we get into Tuesday afternoon and evening. For today, rain chances are very slim. Any rain that could occur looks like it'll be south of the Delta. But again, Tuesday afternoon and evening, we're looking at rain for our area and Wednesday as well. And we still see that cold front moving through as we get through Wednesday morning. Now after this front moves out, our temperatures will be a little bit lower. So again, in the low 90s for today, still near 90 for Tuesday, but our highs should be in the low 80s from Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, a little bit warmer once again, but then another cold front should be moving in by this weekend. So we'll have rain chances returning again and our highs could just be around 80. But although today will be hot, hopefully y'all still have a magnificent Monday. Stay cool, stay hydrated. Today is a good day to go out and celebrate because today is International Day of Families. Okay. So why is you can have a little heat outside, yeah. you know, in moderation, mm -hmm. sunscreen, water, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Just go out and celebrate your family. Just spend time with each other. The mm -hmm. website says you can see how many, the, the oldest person that you have in your family, celebrate them on this day mm -hmm. or give roses to people in your family. Okay. Just, mm -hmm. just do stuff today with your family for International right. Family Day. Now, too bad that day wasn't on a weekend day because, you know, people busy with work and school. Right. But, yeah, hopefully they make some time, a nice family picnic for right. dinner and lunch or something like that. It's International Family Day. Okay. Spend time with the ones who you share the same bloodline with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have some sports news for you after this break.